Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. So obviously I'm starting with some of plane. I am actually going on a trip with someone special today. My mother is here with me. <laughs> so mum's birthday trip. Mum's birthday? Mum's Christmas trip is a little trip to Venice, just the two of us. So we're obviously going today, we've got three days there and we fly back on Thursday. So it's Tuesday morning, it's literally like 5.30 in the morning, 6 a.m. Um, we land at about nine, I think, their time, and I think they're an hour ahead of us. So, yeah, we've got three full days, and I'm very excited to have a little browse and just go around Venice again. And obviously, the last time I went was in summer. I'll leave a link to that vlog down below. But yeah, it's gonna be really nice to see it in winter. You've never been to Venice before, apart from a little bit. Lucky. So, really excited. Very excited. <laughs> you're so cute but yeah i'll obviously take you along with us and show you everything we do you've got a big itinerary planned of things you yes. want to see so i'm so gonna plan my vlog i feel like i need something to eat now now we've got on the plane i'm actually quite hungry i didn't have anything for breakfast but just coffee i've had three coffees already at 6am three coffees at 6am I've heard of this at all. Yeah, we'll get some pictures. I'm actually going to save my first pasta, I think. Nice. Let's go for it. Some nice pasta. Because when in Italy, you eat carbs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, we're going to the Venice Airport. Well, we're going to the Venice Airport. 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 <laughs> it's so foggy outside, literally we didn't even realise we were landing until we hit the floor and you cannot see a thing out the window. Mum was like, oh this is great, <laughs> so what have we <laughs> um, Also, we're not quite sure if we actually booked the hotel or not because I did it and I'm a bit slow on these things. So um, we're basically double booking the hotel and then we're going to see when we turn up if we actually made the reservation before, which I don't think I did. So it's going to be very interesting, but this is what we can see. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's gonna be a lovely few days if this is what the view's like. Okay, to confirm, we had actually booked a hotel room. I just found the text. Okay, so we are now in the airport and basically we just got the same thing that Sam and I got before, which is a three-day rolling card for Venice. So if you're over the age of 29, it is 40 euros. And if you're under 29, it's 28 euros. And then I think it was like 27 pounds for the return water taxi to the airport as well. So all in all, I think it cost me 55 and mum 64, which isn't too bad considering you get three days of like complete unlimited travel and you can use it as much as you want. You can use it to get to Burano and like a few islands and stuff that are a bit further out as well. So it's really, really good to have. And it definitely helped us a lot last time because you save quite a bit of money oh my goodness hang on you save quite a bit of money doing it so yeah we're about to go get on the water taxi now it's a bit foggy outside so god knows what we'll actually be able to see but hopefully something we're up for that we'll, <laughs> we'll just make it up we'll do like an um, imagination thing where you're like oh we'll just feel I can our see, way around you know like i spy <laughs> <laughs> but yeah mum like mum said we'll feel our way around because apparently that's going to work when there's canals um, might get arrested but <laughs> <laughs> also we had one of those like obviously with the coronavirus being quite a thing at the moment we had like a head scan as you come through so they're like wearing full suits and they have the little masks on and you had to get your head like temperature checked before you could enter to even get through to passport which is a good measure to have but it was very weird wasn't it it was a bit of a strange experience quite reassuring <laughs> So we've just got to our hotel and we are staying at the Hotel Rialto which is right at the bottom of the Rialto bridge and this room wasn't actually that expensive. I think for two nights it cost me about £250 maybe and they also have like honeymoon suites and stuff which are only about £300 for two nights so very 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 affordable and very cute like you can kind of see behind me it's like typical Venetian but really really sweet. So this is our room, mum's like positioned herself. <laughs> Here she is the little queen in the corner. So this is our room. Do you want to give a tour of our room, Mum? Do you want to give a little tour? Um, if you'd like to come this way, I'll show you the bathroom. Okay, this is the worst part of the room. Why have you started here? Well, you've got to start somewhere. Nice little so, bathroom with a little shower. It has all the necessities. Yeah, it's not the nicest bathroom ever, but it's fine. And then this is the room. So you've got the cool like wardrobes and stuff there. We've got a big mirror and a little vanity. You've got the bed, which is really like cool and old school. And then out here, you have the most epic view ever across three windows. And there is the Rialto Bridge. Tell me if you've ever seen a better view of Venice in your life. That is amazing. I do kind of wish we were up a floor just so we didn't have this bit. But even so, it's amazing. Also, I don't know if you can see, there's a little photo shoot going on there. I'm going to zoom in. 
There's like a little formal wear or like bridal shoot or something happening across. It looks really cool. They're wearing like big ball gowns and stuff. Can you see, Mum? Yes. That's really cool. But this is such an epic view in the morning. There's all the little Amazon parcels and stuff being delivered. <laughs> but such a pretty view. This is my outfit for today. So I'm just wearing this necklace, which is a reworked Dior from Ocean Rose. I'll leave it linked down below. It's a really, really gorgeous page. And one of my friends, Tula, actually owns it. So definitely recommend. Then I've got this gray coat, which is from Weekday. This is super, super old. I've had this like two or three years now. And it's a great coat, but it's not on sale anymore. So I'll link similar if I can find it. But honestly, it's lasted me so well. So I can definitely recommend weekday coats. Then I've got my little Marc Jacobs snapshot. This is the French grey one. I actually have a what's in my bag slash review of this. So you can see how much actually fits in this tiny bag. Um, then I'm wearing this green jumper, which is from And Other Stories. Really, really affordable. This is actually only £35, which is one of their cheaper jumpers. And it comes in a billion colours. White t-shirt, jeans, trainers. Bosh. So we've headed around to the side of the Rialto because I saw Kelsey went here the other day and it looked really yummy so we went to Del Moro which is basically a little pasta place where they do little takeaway pastas in the pots and we've come around the corner to this really cute little canal bit so we're just stood having our pasta and just watching the world go by it's actually really nice it's really quiet as well so we're just watching everything aren't we mum? Are you enjoying your pasta? Mm. Yeah it's really good pasta I just wish it was a bit warmer it was quite cold but um yeah it's really really good pasta. First, we've been here for like four hours and we've already had pasta. <laughs> Gotta be done. It looks so nice, doesn't it? Look how clear the water is. I know, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Look, you can see its thing like nearly all the way down. Beautiful shade. This is such a stunning little picture. You've got like the three different types of bridge. So you've got the bridge of size in the back, then you've got the stone one and this little one with the metal railing. It looks so cool. And then when you turn around, it's also really, really pretty. So we've come to the infamous bookshop shelf, the bookshop steps, and it's so quiet. But um, it's here, and there's loads of really cool books and stuff outside. I actually think I might buy one because they look really nice. They look really like cool and rustic. Look, mum, they've got like, is it? But they've got loads of like really cool prints and stuff out the front. It's so beautiful. So I'm really excited to get to the other side, but it's super, super busy. So I don't know what we'll be able to see, but it's really, really cute. I love this. Wait, that one's stunning. I like that. I like that as well. I also like this. That's cool, the little like life drawing one, yeah. So in the bookshop there's a little video showing what happened when the floods come and it's so sad because the whole bookshop's just completely ruined and obviously they lose all their stock and all the books, it's really really sad. It looks so, like that's literally out here and then you look at it now and it's just, like, all this is flooded. That bookshop was like the cutest thing I've ever seen, it was really really nice and it was also quite quiet, like there was a lot of people but there wasn't many people taking pictures or anything which I quite like, but um, it was really cute, definitely would have potentially bought some books but they were all in Italian so obviously not ideal, but they had really cute souvenirs and stuff and like posters and everything so definitely worth checking out because they've got really old postcards and like I showed a few clips they have like um, letters and stuff that have been written to people in the past and it's really cool to look back and see all the things that were posted and written and even though we can't understand half of them, it's really cool to see. But Mum's just dragged me down around an alleyway. Because it's good to go down around an alleyway. <laughs> also, you know, as I do. I'm fine down around an alleyway. Very true. Mm, the corgi. Mm. The corgi down an alleyway. <laughs> um, but I did think I would have trouble trying to get pictures on this trip. I didn't really want to. Mum is literally making me pose on every wall and thing possible. You're posing on a door in a minute. Oh. <laughs> there we go, demanding, demanding. <laughs> oh, look at that doorknob. There you go. There's a door for you to pose against. Oh, that's not the most attractive door you no. could have picked, Mum. We could find one. <laughs> 
But yeah, we don't get many pictures together, so I think it'd be nice if we do. Um, but we're about to stock up on some coffee because we've both been out of the house since like 1 a.m. So we definitely, definitely, that's someone's house. Mum, that's someone's house. I knew you'd stop, that's someone's house. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> God. Um, but yeah, we really need coffee, so that's our next stop, I think. We just need to find somewhere to go. So we briefly headed back to the room because I needed to sort my cameras out because like I said, one of, actually I don't know if I did say, but basically one of, like my big camera, I had put an 128 gig memory card in it and basically that didn't actually have any memory left. So I had to wipe the camera. So we've just come back and quickly done that. I had a bit of a sit down because our legs were getting a bit sore because we ventured so far. We literally went around like the whole of Venice near enough. Like we just kept walking and kept walking and kept walking. But Mum's just had a little flick through her guidebook and found some good places to eat. We definitely need more food. I really want pizza and mum said she wants pizza as well and also ice cream. So I think we might potentially do it ice cream and then pizza or sit down and have pizza and then go for an ice cream, which I think is actually seeming like the better idea to be honest. So we're gonna find somewhere to go. The place literally opposite is where I had a really good pizza last year. So I think we might maybe go there, maybe. Or should let's, we try somewhere new? Maybe let's, try somewhere let's new. Let's go and experiment. You don't really want to stay around the Rialto, do you? I don't mind. I'm happy to go wherever. <laughs> so let's go and have a surprise. But yeah, we're going to find some pizza, which I'm sure will not be hard. And then potentially just continue mooching around a little bit more. And then probably have an early night-ish. Because we have obviously been up since like one in the morning. So we need a really good nap tonight, I think. But I've changed top. I've just put on a black roll neck from Zara and I'm going to chuck the same coat back on because I just wanted to wear something a little bit different. I feel like we've taken so many pictures of me in that green top that I don't just want every single picture to be in that green top and also I just wanted to change of outfit. I just felt like it, you know, just felt like it. Mum's had me chasing sunset around the whole of Venice. We've literally been running up and down this road trying to get like a really good shot of the sunset. I think Mum's finally got it. The sun is also nearly gone, but it's really nice and like blood orange at the moment. It looks really cool. So we're gonna actually go the wrong way. We need to turn around. <laughs> we're heading off for an ice cream and then we're gonna go to a little place near us for a takeaway pizza. I will leave everywhere that we go in the description if you wanted to screenshot it or save it. And I will also be putting a little screen screenshot list on my Instagram stories and stuff as well so everything will be there if you wanted to go to any of the places we've been to because I know a few people have asked me um, recommendations and stuff for a few weeks time so we'll be listing everything but so far we've had blooming good pasta and that's all we've had and I'm actually a bit sad that that's all we've had but I think we need to go grab some water and stuff as well remember these from the last Venice vlog <laughs> these are like the most infamous ice creams in Venice they're really really good they're kind of expensive I think it was like seven pounds for two um, which actually to be fair isn't that bad when you think of like London prices but I got the dark chocolate vegan one mum went for stracciatella and fig and walnut which sounds amazing so we're just gonna sit up here and eat these and think because it's just a nice evening it's not the warmest so I don't really know why we've gone for ice cream but it's a nice night isn't it yeah have our little ice cream and enjoy <laughs> Good morning. It is obviously day two now. It's about 11 o'clock and I haven't picked up the camera yet because we basically had a really slow morning, had some breakfast, headed over to St. Mark Square and we're actually going to get to the water taxi over to Burano, which is where Sam and I went last year and really, really loved. So it's like the multicoloured island and it's really pretty, it's really quaint. So I thought I'd take mum there and I'm hoping it'll be quite quiet because it's winter. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not too busy, but we're currently on the hunt for some coffee and <laughs> can't seem to find any anywhere. So. That's not going very well, is it? But, no, but we'll <laughs> we've got half an hour till our water taxi, so yeah, hopefully it should be somewhere here. Hopefully I'll update you with the coffee. Say something that will make my day Cause these memories of her won't go away They're haunting me so I can't sleep she was a pretty little liar who cut me deep. Cause she left me. So we are back in Burano, which is genuinely one of my favourite parts about coming to Venice. So if you haven't been here before, the three day rolling pass lets you come here as one of the things. So it's actually about an hour out of Venice. Like it takes quite a while to get here on the water taxi, but you don't have to pay any more. It's included in the ticket, so it makes sense to come because it is stunning and it's always quite quiet. Like me and Sam came in the middle of summer and it wasn't too busy like it was quieter than venice but it was still like busy 
but we've come now and there's like literally no one here and it's still so quiet and I think everyone kind of respects the quietness of the place so it's just still really still and peaceful and you can see all the fishermen doing their little jobs and it's just really nice mum keeps dragging me down back roads don't you because you want to see all the houses I do <laughs> she keeps dragging me away from all the canals so she can see it's all the little pretty the houses very true so we're about to head down this random little bit I'll flip the camera and show you where we are so this is her favourite kind of part of travelling, isn't it? it is looking at all the architecture track. and stuff. Off the beaten track. Off the beaten track, looking at everyone's little houses. And mum's particularly enjoying the kind of rustic -y ones that still look really kind of battered and old because she thinks they have more history, which is true. But obviously some of them have just had a fresh facelift. So that one, for example, has just had a facelift, but this one's still a bit old looking. But they still look really pretty. And also, fun fact, there is actually a rule about how you can paint your house here. So there's a whole... I can't remember the exact thing. I'll... I'll link the old vlog because I mention it in a lot of detail in that but basically if you want to paint the colour of your house you have to get permission from the council because your house has to complement the houses around it and it's not allowed to be the same colour as I think it's the house next door or like two along or something there's like a whole thing about the reason and like how and why you paint your house the colour that you do which I think is really really cool Now my bed feels just like cobblestone oh, oh. Why did she go? I've got my first Aperol of the trip and safe to say it is one of the best Aperols I've ever had. It's so good. And we've just had a little pizza together, haven't we, Mum? I've just made Mum try Aperol Spritz for the first time. She liked it, very impressed. Um, but I think we're going to have a little mooch around here for a little bit longer and then maybe head back into Venice because Mum wants to see a few little different bits over there. Um, and then, I don't really know what we're going to do. We want to go back to the bookshop again because we want to buy a print. And also, I asked someone to translate for me what the postcard meant yesterday that I showed. And um, I need to have a look what it means. If it means something cool, then I think I'm going to go back and get it. Because I'm really hoping it's either like a love letter or it's like a confession of a divorce or something really scandalous. So <laughs> if it's either of those, I'm going to get it. If it's just like a letter to be like, I'm off to Brano today to get some lunch, then no. <laughs> Good morning. I have been really bad at vlogging the last couple of days, but basically we have just gone to the terrace rooftop of the department store. I can't remember how you say the name, so I'm going to put it on the screen. But it's really cool. You basically just book a slot and you get 15 minutes up there and it's free. You don't have to pay anything. It's a really cool view. It was a bit foggy when we were up there, so it wasn't like the most amazing view ever, but it was still quite cool. So we've done that and now we're having a little look around the department store. Mum's in awe of how expensive everything is. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're going to have a little look around here, maybe go and grab a coffee. We're going to try and find another viewpoint that mum found that really wants to go to. Then we're going to go to a bridge that mum really wants to go to and have a little look around different touristy bits for the rest of the day. Because we basically have... Oh, that gives me vertigo. Because um, we basically have till 7 o'clock when we need to leave for our flight and it's only like half 11 now. So we have a full day of just wandering around because we can't get back into our hotel room. <laughs> 260, they are really nice. Oh, I love those. just trying on some Gucci sunglasses and mum was like be careful they don't take over your face and then I put on this pair which safe to say they definitely take over my face but I kind of like them <laughs> they're really nice oh it's, that's got 50 oh no this it's is gonna 70. be hang on that's 50 but it's got 70 off now yeah. so it's even more oh no this is gonna be a bad thing for me <laughs> now I can just just fine. just check I'm no good with camera uh, just check Stop. okay now we're looking at other ones Mum's in her element, she's having a little browse of all the clothes. How much is it? 2,500. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. 75% off. Uh, what that, would that be? Wait, is um, it? That would still be like 1,400 or something though. Oh my god. Uh, it's still up there. Wow. Um, I just bought a bag. Whoopsie. Oh, sorry, Mum. And now we're browsing even more bags. So, oh my goodness, this is actually the bag I want the Loewe puzzle but it's like £1,900 and I want the navy blue one with the gold hardware and they've also got this is kind of like an update of my Spontini saddle bag but it's like a different shape I mean you literally can't get mine anywhere anymore and then this is my baby that I have at home I love it okay this is like a great summer bag look at these like obsessed love this is what I already own I love it so much it's my favorite bag ever so this is a little bit later and we've come to a really cute little coffee shop and we're basically just sat outside I don't know if you can see there's a little canal behind me with these two gondoliers here and it's just a really nice little space to sit Sam and I actually sat here in the summer and it was stunning like it was really, really nice and warm and it's relatively quiet it's in the square which is just there it's just a nice little coffee spot so we've just stopped here for this and then I think we're going to go wander around and try and find a couple more touristy bits because 
now I've spent an extortionate amount of money on bags and stuff, I actually want to go see some sights because it's now half 12. So like I said, we've literally got another like six hours of wandering around before we can actually go to the airport. And I don't think we land until 10 past 11 tonight. And then we've also got to get home. So we keep stopping for coffee to like keep our energy up and like keep us not burning out. So otherwise neither of us are gonna make it home in one piece. Or we might be in one piece, but we might have to get escorted by our ambulance because we'll be falling asleep on the wheel. <laughs> so yeah, we just checked into our flight because Ryanair is a nightmare and they basically I didn't realise you had to check in online and mum doesn't have an iPhone so I couldn't check in and use Apple Wallet because I didn't know how I'd get it to her which is now an issue as well because we're trying to work it out but it cost me £55 each to check in at the airport which I think is extortionate and Ryanair as a company are just the worst that I would never recommend flying them and also the flight was like £30 but you have to pay an extra 48 to get priority to be able to take an actual cabin bag so it's not just like I could take a handbag but I couldn't take a bag so I wouldn't be able to have any clothes with me for a week um, so they just do tot up the cost massively but um, yeah we're trying to check into the flight now while we're having coffee and then explore mum's a bit miffed because the camera scratched her bag <laughs> so she's sitting sulking because the bag scratched take a look you actually can't see it it's like a tiny little bit here but she's very unimpressed with it <laughs> okay we're heading over to another thing that i don't know the name of so i'll put it on the screen but it's basically another viewpoint that mum really wants to go to and it's not the easiest to find google maps did not want to find it so we're basically having to attempt to find it by foot and like just guessing alleyways and there's a lot of alleyways in venice so we'll see if we end up there we might not we might end up somewhere else but we're on a little tour of a different part of the neighbourhood, which is actually quite nice. It's like the shopping district. Um, there's a lot of like Zara and all that kind of thing, but there's also all the bougie designers. There's a lot of designer shops. There's not much else, but we'll see if we find it. <sighs> we'll see. After all that, it's closed. <laughs> so what mum wanted to see was shut for the day. So we've ended up coming over to the Jewish Quarter, which is really, really quiet actually. There's a lot of locals and stuff and it's just really quiet. Um, we tried to go look around one of the museums and mum wanted to go around one of their synagogues, but you have to do a guided tour and it's like 40 minutes, cost 10 euros and we just didn't really want to do that. So we decided against it and now we're just wandering around, having a little look at everything, taking in all of Venice for the last day. <laughs> I can't 